All right, so I've got that. Code looks good. Messages all sent. God damn. What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from Lazy Tech TV and I don't think I'm alone in this. I've got multiple devices on my desktop here. I mean, multiple monitors is one thing and the vast majority of you have that. But when it comes to multiple computers on one desktop, there's gonna be a few of you as well too. I have my laptop slash desktop here connected to another monitor which is uh, comically a 4-3 uh, aspect ratio or even worse than that. Um, but then also I have my, my work Surface Pro 4. And one thing I really hate is the fact that when I use my desktop monitor, I've got my standard desktop keyboard. But when I wanna use the Surface Pro 4, in the field, I can use the type cover keyboard and mouse, no problem. But at home, I don't wanna to have to edge over to it and have to type over there on this dinky little mouse and keyboard when I'm using something like this for my desktop. So there's actually an application out there called Mouse Without Borders that allows you to use your standard keyboard and mouse for up to four different devices on the same network. Let's check it out. All right, so first off, Mouse Without Borders is actually a free application. So you can just go and uh, type in Mouse Without Borders into Google or Bing, and then it's gonna direct you to a Microsoft website. The reason why you may or may not be aware of this application is because it came from the Microsoft Garage. Recently, Microsoft Garage has created a lot of applications, not primarily for Windows, but actually Android and iOS. The Mouse Without Borders came out a few years ago, and it is compatible not only with Windows 10, but also Windows 8 and Windows 7 devices, including some other servers like Windows Server 2008 and 2012. So when two monitors are connected via HDMI, DVI, or in my case, VGA, again, don't make fun of me. The mouse just travels from one screen to the other just because the screen is extended. Now if you have a third device, in my case a Surface Pro 4, I could reach over and use the mouse and keyboard like I would in the field. But again, mouse without borders allows you to use your existing keyboard and mouse. In my case, I've got the ergonomic keyboard from Microsoft um, across all the devices. So here's how it works. So on your main computer, after downloading it from the website, and this is a free download by the way, it'll have you install it on whichever computers that you want to use this program. Um, again, Mouse Without Borders can be installed on up to four different devices. So if you follow the mouse, we have it in screen one, which is connected to screen two over VGA. And now over at screen three, we've got the mouse. The idea is when I mouse over to my Surface Pro 4, I no longer have to move, reach, and use the keyboard. I can just use this standard mouse and keyboard. Once your applications are all set up on all four machines or up to four machines, you're all connected to the same network, whether it's hardlined or Wi-Fi, then you're done. So this is kind of like a backward KVM switch. The other nice thing that you're able to do fairly easily is you can copy and paste from one computer to another without having to throw it up in Dropbox or OneDrive or anything like that, plugging in a USB thumb drive. So for example, I can take some of the media files that I have here. Let's use a picture here, so Lazy Tech TV. I copy, Control C, I mouse over to this device. It says Mouse Without Borders connected to T. Hannity's HP. Control V, and there it is. That's all you have to do. In the application itself, you have your machine setup tab, then you also have other options. This is where you can be a little bit more customizable and you can change certain things. You can have something like a uh, wrap mouse. This allows you to use the mouse in such a way that it doesn't really have an end. If you go to the full left side of one of the screens, it's gonna pop up on the right side of the other screen. So. It's here, and now it's there. It's here, and now it's there. Uh, it's a little confusing, and uh, it's a little annoying sometimes using wrap mouse, so that's up to you. And then there's a, bu a bunch of other options. Draw mouse cursor, move mouse relatively, block mouse at screen corners. So you can play around with all that if you want. And then the last thing is IP mapping. You shouldn't have to really touch IP mapping, but it's there if you need to. So Mouse Without Borders is a super helpful application, and I found it to be extremely useful, especially when I'm flip-flopping between my desktop slash 
laptop and to my Surface Pro 4. It is, however, not 100% perfect. There are issues, especially because I am using a Wi-Fi connection, and sometimes even when I'm using the LAN connection, it doesn't always communicate over to the network that I want to use this mouse and keyboard. Now, the thing is, this mouse and keyboard is just your standard wireless mouse and keyboard, 2.4 gigahertz mouse and keyboard. It's not Bluetooth, but you could use Bluetooth. You could use a plug-in USB mouse and keyboard, just like the plug-in mouse and keyboard is for the Surface Pro 4. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, I've simplified my life instead of going back and forth between my Pro 4 to my desktop to my Pro 4 to my desktop I just use my standard mouse and keyboard I can use up to as many computers up to four I guess but up to four computers with the same thing and I am set copy and paste no problem little hinky sometimes, not all the time, but just sometimes, but it's something that I can live with. I highly recommend it for you guys to check it out. So if you've got multiple devices, all running Windows, if you've got one mouse and keyboard that you'd like to use on all those devices, check out Mouse Without Borders. Just go look it up on Bing or Google or AltaVista even, um, or you can go to the Microsoft Garage and just type in Mouse Without Borders. It should be in there. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave that in the section below, or you can always hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and of course, Instagram. That's it for me right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.